Hey guys, welcome back. Um, this is Wartime Wisdom, where we look at the fact that war is coming. And war means many different things to many different people. So we had a huge storm blow through here the other day. And I was out driving in it. Yeah. Nothing I recommend, okay? We had some errands we had to go run. We had to go to the shop and meet clients and different things. So, okay, we are on our way home. And we can look up. You know, you look down the road and you can see the sky. And you think, wow. <laughs> I'm like that. We're driving right into it. That's your first clue. If you know you were driving straight into a storm and you have the option, um, don't drive into it. <laughs> Do not turn around something, change directions. Take it as a blessing if you can see that it's coming. Uh, we didn't. And we were driving along and it was like we hit a wall. A wall of water, a wall of wind, I guess. Um, they tell us now that we had just below tornado straight line winds. Yeah. Well, we hit them and you can't see it's raining so hard. What we did see was like half a tree fall across in front of us and land in, in the road. Well, I can't go around it. So I've got my flashers on because there are people behind me and I start to turn to do this three point turn. And as I back up, I don't know if it was the other half of the tree or a different tree landed right where we had been. Well, I'm like, all I knew is like, I got to get out of here. <laughs> I got to get out of here because this is life threatening where I am right now. Huge trees alongside the road that are probably, you know, 60 years old. They're enormous and they're bent and they're just waving. And I'm like, I just got to go. So I knew there was a little road that I could turn and go in a different direction. Don't ask me north or south. I, I can't because in my directionally challenged mind, north is always ahead of me. Not a good thing. But so we, because my daughter is with me and she's trying real hard not to um, have a panic attack. And we're talking and going, okay, and we're looking for debris in the road because it is so windy and there are stuff. It's just, yeah, it's just, it's. So we skirted around a few branches and moved and but we're going instead of being pummeled by the wind this way. Now it's behind us and it's pushing us this way, which to me, I'm like, then the debris isn't going to fall in front of us. It's going to fall behind us. And I'm like, I'm all right with that. You know, it doesn't land on me. So when we look at storms and we're in the midst of a storm or a war, whatever it is, there's things that change and war comes for all of us. And how do we respond? Do we respond out of surprise? I knew there was a storm coming. I knew it. I knew it. And yet I had chosen a couple things that took longer where we were. And if I hadn't, cho if I had the fact the storm's coming and that drove my decisions to get out of the situation in a way and back home, I'd have been home when the storm hit instead of driving by these monster trees that are now dancing. So if we take a step back and go, okay, look, what is my surroundings? What does the radar say? What, what's going on? You know, is it looking like I'm going to lose my job? Is it looking like <clears throat> I'm not going to get any rice? Is it, you know, all of these things we can go, okay, so what do I need to do ahead of before the storm hits? This is why when the weather people say, um, Hurricanes coming, and this is the area we think it's going to land. Everybody does something in that area. They evacuate, they board up windows, they stock up on water and fuel, and there's things, okay? So if we know something is going to come up and, and get us and hit us and knock us off course, make life challenging, 
we can do something. I didn't do it. Okay, so this is this is what I'm telling you. There's things I should have done. Looking back, I shouldn't have. Um, we should have left where we were earlier and made our way home. I should have looked up down the road and went, wow, that sky is completely changed. I need to get off this road and change directions. But I didn't do it. So what can we do? We need to be engaged with our surroundings. We need to be aware of, it's situ situational awareness, okay? If we know things are coming towards us, possibly, let's be proactive and do something ahead of time. You don't wait if you're in hurricane area to wait for the hurricane to hit to try to put boards on your windows. You don't. You don't wait for the hurricane to hit to go, oh, maybe now I'll evacuate. You know, these are things that should have been done ahead of time. You're not going to go out and get gas. You're not going to find any water. You're not going to do these things. So what storm are we facing down? You know, because storms of life happen to all of us. Um, you know, job loss, uh, an accident, a diagnosis, you know, uh, these things happen. So how do we, can we? set ourselves up better to walk through the storm. I think we can. Can we prepare for everything? Oh gosh, no. No, 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 no. No, <laughs> we can't. You know, you can have a pantry that is phenomenal and go, I got two years worth of food. Great, good for you. But are you actually going to eat the food that's in there, first of all? Are you rotating it properly so the food two years from now isn't bad? You know, there's things that we need to do that we can try to set up for because truly we can't prepare for everything. But we can, with our mindset, go, okay, this is what looks like's coming. So how do I provide a buffer? How do I provide a safe zone, a better zone. Um, if you're in tornado country, you know that tornado sirens go off and where should you be? The innermost room of your house or in your storm shelter, or in my case, in my basement back in the corner in the bathroom. That's where we need to be because that's the safest place for a tornado in my place. So, we have winter storms that come through here and knocks out. We had, um, was it in February? Yeah, we had an ice storm, snowstorm, nasty storm, and it took our power out for six days. Were we set up for that? Yes. We had gas. We have a generator. Is it wonderful? Gosh, no, it's a pain in the neck. We've looked at getting a whole house automatic generator. But um, we haven't done it. So it is a gas power generator. So we need to have several days worth of gas on hand. So my generator can run. So we can keep things going. But what situations in your area do you face? We've had massive storms that come through this year. Not so much here, but in other areas of the country. We've had, they've called it the heat dome. You know, I'm like, how do people function in triple digit heats? I'm a mess. I know it hits 90 and every fiber of my being goes, I just melted and I can't function. So how do we know what to do? We have to put things in place. We have to go, okay. They are talking wars and rumors of wars and all of these things. They're talking, um, latest I think is rice, that India isn't um, going to export rice. So 
if you want rice on your shelves, maybe you should go get some. Maybe you'll find some. Um, we all know that the big inflation word continue, seems to continue to go. Um, I know people in power say, oh, it's all good. But if you've been to the grocery store, you know that it's crazy. It's crazy, crazy. But storms come through no matter what they are and do damage. You know? So what can you do to get ready? Here at the house, we um, really missed the massive nastiness of the storm. We got rain, we got wind. We got enough wind that took out a section of my apple tree. Heartbreaking, because what it took out is loaded with apples, which are now, um, will never be my apple cider or apple sauce or apple pie filling, apple, but it won't be any of that, right? Because they're not mature, but the branch, pff, gone, so they won't, won't mature. So we can look at things, go, oh, well, I have my garden, great. I'm happy for you. I have my garden too. And my strawberries did good. My blueberries, I got some. You know, my tomatoes are coming. But will it feed my family for a long term? No. No, it's just kind of fillers, you know. And making, be making some different choices for my garden next year. Just simply because it'll be easier on me physically, easier to manage, easier to maintain. So that's already begun the process. I've already put things, pieces in place as I can get them to make it a little bit, a little bit easier on me for next year. Um, I have stuff on my patio instead of in my garden. And I like that a lot. My husband doesn't, but I do. I'm like, this is great. You know, I just walk right out. I water, I weed, it's done. I don't have to, yeah. But so pay attention to what's coming. I don't know what's coming for your life. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't have a crystal ball. That's not how I roll. But I do know, um, scuttlebutt that we've sent troops places that, you know, this, this guy says this and that guy, you know, it's like two bullies. <laughs> so I think somebody's here. That's my warning system. People go, do you have a security alarm? I'm like, yeah, it's dogs and they're loud. So storms are coming. You got to do something. 